right. All right. Welcome back to another episode of Turn the Mac Podcast. This is your host, Oxcord Daddy, Direct Poppy, Jamison Poppy. Uh, okay, let me see what's in them pants. Oh. Okay, just playing. I'm in a relationship. Uh, I'm here with some niggas you've already seen. Um, I don't even know if I should let you guys even introduce yourselves. Like, oh, fuck. I don't know. I will anyway. Why not? <laughs> just for the people you know. Yeah. Uh, it's Chris here again, aka BC. Uh, back with some more high quality content. Yeah, it's me, Koti, K O T I. You know what it is. How at you, boy? <laughs> yeah, my mic is being finicky. I don't know what the fuck's going on today, but all right. What do you guys want to start with today? Uh, we have, okay. We have a lot of drama going on in the streets right now. Music wise, what the fuck dropped? Yes. Not music. Much. Uh, Not much musically. Not no. Honestly, bro, I've been, my head's been in fucking work like. Yeah, I've been stressed, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, honestly, bro. I told you guys this. <laughs> on my way here, I had this nasty frozen pizza. And oh, yeah. My yeah. stomach right now is not, it's not, it's not good right now. Did y'all know? It's, it's, it's not. Two hours late, bro. To sit. Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, bro. Okay, so you know how whenever you plan shit with your friends, right? There's always that one nigga who's late. And so because of that, you have to adjust your schedule to make sure that everyone's on time. That person is Koti. No. <laughs> <laughs> literally, <laughs> that's you. Literally, that's you, bro. Like... I said, what time did I say? Normally, Girls, we come here like seven ish. You, okay, I told you seven. To be fair, to be fair, I came five minutes before you today. It's the first time ever. Yeah, you know what I mean. But you're, bro, I'm never late, bro. You can count on me. I'm not Same. even gonna get into. You know, BC's never late. <laughs> Yo, I'm never late. <laughs> yeah, nah, as far me, as I'm concerned. Nah, me and BC are always late. Oh fuck! Since the last time we filmed, I didn't even say it. Kobe passed away. Yeah, man. Yo, honestly, <laughs> that shit was tragic, bro. Like. Yeah. When I heard the news, I heard it, I think, it was sometime early in the morning. And I was having breakfast, I think. Yeah. And I saw the news, and at first I didn't believe it. I think it came from TMZ. Definitely TMZ. And I was like, nah, this can't be real, right? So, like, you know, just let it sit. Eventually you start seeing it come out through other outlets and stuff. And mm-hmm. it was like, oh, my God, like, it's actually true. But, like... I think the most tragic part about it was like his daughter as well, Yo, like his thirteen year old too. Him, yeah, yeah. For so the mini me. Yeah, for like you said, like when I first read that song on TMZ and I opened my my phone after it was like after we did prayer, and then I just I opened my phone and I see him like Yo, Kobe Bryant died. I was like, my heart actually dropped. I was like, what? Yeah. I mean, this kind of like it didn't it didn't register in my mind because I'm like normally when you have celebrity, that's kind of like people who are like off drugs you're just fucking weird something you know, like you, that you knew that guy was gonna pass like, exactly yeah, it's normally sure. that but it's like with, with Kobe it was like bro it made me think like really like life is nothing though like, Kobe you can have all the money in the world you can have all the protection in the world if it's your day it's your day you're yeah, gone but you know what's messed up though cause that day apparently like it was foggy outside right yeah, like, yeah, yeah. apparently a helicopters can't fly when it's like foggy mm-hmm. yeah so they had a game to go and I'm I'm there thinking about like him, I'm thinking about Kobe actually having power over the the pilot and telling the pilot, hey, like, we actually have to get to the game and, like, probably paying the pilot to actually get to the destination because a pilot would be told by uh, the committee or whatnot to not fly, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I I had conversations with people where we've come to, like, an understanding where it's, like... You think it was, like, Kobe, he pulled it a was celebrity like, card? Yeah, it was, like, a bad... Mm. It was, like, a celebrity card and also it was a bad decision. Bad like, decision. Made, to actually, like... I mean, we don't know that there was Kobe that was like, no, this has to happen right now today. You know what no, I mean? It's Kobe's chopper. Yeah. I know, yeah, but, but it's still the pilot. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's but like, the pilot said, can it? A we pilot don't know that. Go. That's what you think, right? It's all assumption, though. Like, exactly, I, I, I feel like I feel like the pilot has to have the last call on that, though. Like, mm-hmm. regardless, right? Like, that's the dude who's like experienced and everything. Yeah, but it's regardless. Chopper, yeah, but at the same time, <laughs> it's like it's <laughs> yeah, but it's like yourself. It's like, bro, if you're the pilot, like, you're risking your life, too, right? Yeah, the so, pilot you, you know, like, it was fucked up, bro. You're like, you know what it was doing? No, but the you thing is, though, the pilot? you're a pilot. Mm. You're, you're supposed to understand what the weather streams. You're supposed to know what, what's happening, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And for you to still drive a helicopter. Drive? No, like, ride a <laughs> Fly? <laughs> you drive a helicopter, you ride a helicopter. I think you pilot a helicopter, bro. I don't know. You fly I think a helicopter. You ride a fly. You fly. Fly, 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 fly a helicopter? Yeah. Someone has a question. Yeah. So what do you guys think about the Gail King? Isn't it Gail King? I want to get to that. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I'm going to get to crazy. that in a sec. We'll get to that. Mm. Like, okay, can we put a button on this? Can we put a button on this conversation? I want to get into it. You guys want to? Yeah, sure, sure, sure. I just want to say, like, 
Me, <laughs> when I heard Kobe's, um, like, like, uh, like, whatever happened to him, literally, like, I picked up my phone and I put it down and I, and I thought of every single time I would shoot the ball at the gym and it would say Kobe. Every mm. single time. And I, yo, I'd say his name like a, bro, every year I'd probably say his name like over a thousand times. Never went in. <laughs> yeah. I know. Yeah. So if anything, it's actually like tarnishing the... Kobe's name, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Kobe Brick. Like, <laughs> yeah, you, you know, got to hit that, bro. Yeah, like, bro. Speaking got... of tarnishing Kobe's name, but... look at me, King of Segways. <laughs> <laughs> this lady, fucking Gail King, stepped the fuck up and tried to, not tried to, she definitely threw dirt on Kobe's name. Yeah, that was wrong. Yeah. Bro, and the, f- okay, I have so many thoughts right now. Let me break it down to people who don't know. You, you probably know by now anyway, but she did it. She sat down with this uh, Leslie, right? Yeah. Um, mm. Sat down with her, chopped it up about her. You know, like, you're just talking. I don't, I don't watch the whole interview. It's too long. Um, <laughs> but then <laughs> the subject of Kobe came up, obviously, because Lisa, Leslie, and Kobe were really close. And then Gail King, of course, tried doing the angle of, like, well, you know, he was a known rapist, and... Um, like you know, bringing up his like the charges that he went, like the, the stuff that he went through, yeah. his case and all that stuff, and why well, I should have honestly brought up this video at this time. It would have been perfect. But uh, long story short, what happened was she was trying to like, I can't say paint him into a villain, but really just trying to highlight like what his wrongdoings were, and right. then that's the worst thing to do. And she kept going and she kept going. Like there was no, it wasn't just the one question. Like she would double down. She's like, yeah, like you know when you're at clubs. Uh, whatever, and then Lisa Leslie would be like, "No, no, I never seen Kobe come to me." Yeah, and she say, kept assisting, yeah. right? She, she kept. She, uh, you know, Kobe's never come up to me and said, "Hey, go get those girls or round them up, or whatever." And then Gail King was like, "Yeah, of course you would never see it because you were his friend, so you would you wouldn't able to, you wouldn't be able to see the bad side of Kobe." Mm-hmm. And it's like, but what are you what are you doing? I mean, right it's now? just yeah. some different motives. Like, you know that what I mean? Clearly, shot a motif. Like oh, it's just distasteful, bro. Like yeah, honestly, and then, yeah. And but like, is, no, go ahead, go ahead. My nigga's dead. He can't even dis- defend himself. And you're all here talking like this, and then his family's grieving at the same time. It's yeah, like, it's like, why? That's just like, yeah, you know, but I, I don't understand that. Why Why paint that narrative? Why showcase people uh, like that That little time in his life? Like, why don't you talk about the rings that he got? You know what I'm saying? That's the thing, bro. I don't, yeah. I don't. I honestly don't understand it. But, like, honestly, Lisa handled it so, so, so well. Like, you know, like, she was just kind of, like, trying to shut that down. Like, hey, like this man like this is not the time for this like this happened years ago like if you had questions about this you could ask this before like why are you asking this now yeah so it's like why are you bringing this up now like now is not the time right yeah so and the man was like he wasn't convicted of anything Oh, so you yeah well, yeah because it was it was yeah she added that too she, um because let's see at least let's was like yeah he wasn't convinced she's like yeah of course because you know the the person who was accusing him she didn't come to court because it was too much like she, so it's like what are you doing right now you know and then she came out like i think it was today or something um she said well i'm, I'm really sorry for the 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 interview that you guys saw the clip where he's taking it out of context i hate when people do that shit yeah, it's like taking out of context from the context is right fucking there. We're talking yeah. about Kobe. <laughs> we have you talking about Kobe and trying to angle it into a certain That's way. What I'm saying. And then she kept she kept saying, "Yeah, that was not my intention." And uh, you know, she tried to. She's no accountability, mm. not even a little bit. Saying, "Yeah, you know, the questions were written to me." Nah, fam, you're freestyling those off the top. Because okay, I can say one question. It was written down, but you kept probing. Yeah, and you kept poking, yeah. and you kept going, and you didn't bring that up in your apology. You kept saying, "No, no, no," you know, it was my team, or there was this, or there was that, but. So that cheese me. Bro, but is it safe to say you can blame Oprah as well, too? Yeah, she does a lot of nastiness, too. Like oh, Oprah's like that, too, man. Oh, no. What Harvey you, Weinstein? Yeah, with yeah, Oprah? Come on, man. Oprah hanging out with Harvey Weinstein, and everybody knows this guy did what he did. So right. Yeah. yeah. They're still hanging out with him. There's pictures of him and everything. And then yeah. he's like, stop yeah. your shit. I'm coming for you. <laughs> that's, that's some weird stuff. <laughs> yeah. Wild. yeah. And I really blame Oprah. Like, like, because yeah, they're coming after black people, but they're not going after the white. That's what I'm saying. But it's like, that? but it's also true. you find yourself being like, um, both people are, are wrong. Like, what Bill, what's his name, oh, Russell like, Simmons, oh. what he did and what fucking Weinstein did is nasty too. But Yo, he, um, Russ actually did. I mean, no, yeah, that's alleged. That's alleged. Well, then Snoop's if you're gonna, saying Bill, Bill Cosby is, is, is innocent. That's what I'm saying. So if you're gonna believe mm. one, you have to believe the other, right? Like, it's Bill. If you have a bunch of a line of accusers, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm not doing that. You're not canceling. <laughs> you're not you're not canceling Return of the Mac. <laughs> but if you're gonna believe, I don't know. If you're gonna believe like Weinstein, why not believe Russell Simmons? Both of them have a long list of accusers, right? Yeah. Oh, how many accusers does uh, Uncle Russ have? 
Why is he not? That's what I'm he saying. But, re, we're getting but, but, no, into but the Uncle Russ, how, how much does he have? Hold on, hold on. But we're getting into the conversation of saying, well, this person has 20 accusers, this person has six. He's less worse than him. No, no nigga, he just didn't have as much time as you. Basically, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But it's, you know what I mean? So it's like, you guys are both nasty. I don't know. All I know is this: all this shit is nasty. <laughs> and you know what I mean? Like, like if Oprah's going to go after one, you have to go after the other. Where? But she's not doing that, bro. She's, she's clearly really following a different narrative here. Yeah. Clearly. I mean, it, it happens a lot, though, man. Like, I'm thinking back, like, it was the same thing with Michael Jackson, too. Like, a lot of these guys, it's like, after they die, it's like, people want to harp on those. And they came out with that nasty, what was it, that um, documentary or whatever? I yeah. forget what it's called. Um, yeah, yeah. Was it Surviving? Neverland Ranch. Sur- <laughs> it's not that's R. Kelly. It's no, it's Neverland Ranch, no? It's not Survive. No, that was R. Kelly. That was R. Kelly. Neverland? That was R. Kelly. No. That kid that Wait. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. a money, it was a money grab. So I'm like, what the hell? All What's going on here? I know. That's it, but that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's tough. It was a money <laughs> grab, bro. Mad. They tortured the men the whole life. You know how many bare jokes they have about this guy? Teaching little kids? Yeah. Like, no, it tarnished his whole career. Like, and this guy was a kid at heart. Mad. People think about people All right, hold associate on, hold Michael on. with more kids than the moonwalk. All right, hold on, hold on. We have to pause this because there's technical. Yeah. Okay, and we're back from the technical difficulties. Yeah. Yeah, never learned around Michael, Michael Jackson. That nasty conversation. Yeah, it's a, it's he a, did that shit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think he messed with kids at the park? No, I'm not. <laughs> like, I, I just think, look, nah, like he was robbed of a childhood. There's definitely trauma there. Yeah. He wasn't all right in the head, totally for sure. Hell no. He's bro. a genius, but like Joe you Jackson know, smacked the fire out of him. Yeah. So Practice. like, get that shit, nigga. <laughs> like, I yeah, know he smacked him across the room for sure. You know, like a bit of an oddball, but like at the same time, I don't think he touched kids. Like I don't believe that. I honestly yeah. don't. Yeah, I don't but think he had a fetish. To be honest, I don't think he had, he had a fetish for kids. Like, I don't, there's a lot of weirdness around Michael Jackson shit. Why are his kids white? Those are not his kids. <laughs> kids those, those kids, kids are mixed. Mix. Come on, They're mixed. man. They're, They're mixed. They're those mixed. kids look mixed to you. Are you Blue serious? Eyes, How does the bleach you go in the DNA? How does a bleach go in the so DNA? Do you think the black Michael Jackson died and this is somebody else? I don't know. There's a lot of fishiness. That's all mm. I'm saying. It's never his kids. It's never his kids. Wait, so he adopted them? Did yes. Adopted them? I don't yes. know. I don't know. I don't know. Bro, but it's a lot of inconclusive shit. Yeah. Your dad's a nigga, and then you come no, out like some, this. Some of them do, don't turn out like regular mi- mixed pit people, you know, right? I know, but at least you see a little bit of spices in their skin. You know what I mean? You see a little bit of spice in the. In the nah, the I have to force myself to see it. No, in the guy, not the girl. No, he doesn't have anything. Guy. Come on, man. I have to force myself to see it. Blue eyes and blonde hair? No, not even that. Some mixed kids are like that. Where? Some mixed kids are actually like that. Where? I just watched a Mori episode where this came up. You're talking about Mori, bro. You're talking about Mori. Come on, man. No, it's true. Uh, you haven't seen, you know, like, you haven't seen some mixed kids that have go- golden hair and fucking blue eyes. Show me. I don't know where. Yeah, that's witchcraft. But, uh... <laughs> that ain't never happened. I gotta see it. Me, yeah. personally, I gotta see it. Yeah, for real. Like, Because, yeah. Those ain't my most kids. Um, what else do we gonna talk about? Super Bowl happened. Scary. You guys care about that shit? What's that? The Super Bowl happened. You guys care? Uh, I do. To a degree, yeah. I do it, like it, the game itself wasn't that good to me. Like Super I didn't, Bowl. Uh, yeah, yeah. I was on a no, stream that was like lagging a bunch. So and plus I never watch football like that. So yeah, it's kind of boring. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really a big fan of Super Bowl. Like this uh, football per se because it's such a short. They have short seasons. They only play like 16 games per season. It's very short. Really? I they know, do. I yeah. I mean, like the one. The one issue I have with football is. There's a lot of stopping and starting, you know it's what I mean? Just, oh like, God, like basketball, it's flying. basketball, it's end, to, <laughs> basketball, it's end to end type <laughs> thing. <laughs> yeah, basketball, it's end to end type stuff. Like football, it's like every ten seconds, it's like a stop, a flag. But no, I follow it. Like I find it interesting still. What do you guys think but, of the halftime show with Shakira and uh, J- <laughs> and Bad Bunny and what's the nigga's name? J Balvin, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm never gonna say anything bad about J Lo. I'm just, <laughs> I'll just <laughs> leave it there. Biggest highlight. Stiff, was still, she's getting stiff. <laughs> <laughs> a little, <laughs> bro. She, <laughs> she's getting stiff. No, but she's in her. She's how old is she now? She's 50. like fifty. Yeah, she's yeah, fifty, yeah. bro. Yeah. Allow it. But yo, I, I seen this meme like like she was on the pole. Like, apparently, like she was sticking onto the pole and like she was like turning around <laughs> the pole. Oh, like and that. I seen a meme where it's like it says no one, right? 
and then it says the shawarma on the stick. Like, <laughs> 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 that's funny. That's funny. Yeah, yeah, that shit had me dying. Yeah. Two jokes. But other than that, I'm not really interested. I, I heard Beyonce and Jay-Z like just like sat down while the national anthem. So Yeah. Why do people care about that shit? Like you guys care about that for real? What, the national anthem thing? No, no Jay-Z Z that. <laughs> Yeah, but guess what? The third verse is racist, dog. Did you guys not hear that? Yeah, it is. Bro, yeah, it it's is. about slavery and lynching yeah. niggas. Uh, Star Spangled Banner. That's the official song. Go no, look up the real thing. Say? Like I don't know. I just heard her. Heard, I heard someone say that. So, so. nigga, <laughs> I'm not from the states, bro. I don't. Do I don't <laughs> I'm the science. <laughs> Where, like, nah. nah, I remember reading through it a couple times, and I was like, mm, that's that's good, yeah, a like, lot of fishiness, bro. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. Jay and Beyonce are always gonna be stationed where yeah. there's action. <laughs> that's just what, how they are, but. Is it, is they, I don't know. Did they put Latin stars because it was Miami? That, Ooh, yeah, they did. Because uh, Miami is there's a lot of Latinos, a lot of yeah. people. Bro, I was so chill. I saw fucking what's that nigga's name? Bad Bunny with the Durek. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Bunny, bye bye. Bunny. <laughs> <laughs> they came with the Durek. Not even well put to like those fucking the air on top. Yeah. Uh, Mm. Like, it looked like they were teaching him at the back quick. Like, like, <laughs> like this, like this. Like, <laughs> like, go now, go now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she was a mess. I hated that shit. Yeah. Yeah. What was the best uh, Super Bowl halftime show, you guys think? The best one? Yeah. I don't know what the best one was. That you saw. Yo, Beyonce's was fire. I want your front, bro. Honestly, I, f- I forgot about it. I st- my, my mind went to Bruno Mars, and I realized after that, that was the same one. Bruno yeah, <laughs> no, because like Bruno Mars, I was not expecting that from him. Like yeah. he shut that shit down. Yeah, like he's, he's killed that. Better shit. as a performer over yeah. the years. Mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, today, like, and then Beyonce came on and then she performed, and then the power went out. You remember that? Yeah, yeah, uh, I do girls? remember that. I didn't know. I didn't know <laughs> no, it was at the yeah. Super Bowl. Like no, no, no. <laughs> now we good out yeah, here, yeah. B. Nah, you know, I don't remember Beyonce's performance that much. That was a good. They had. You don't remember Beyonce's performance? I don't. I just remember the Nigga, power it's went out. It's Beyonce. I know, but I don't remember getting like starstruck. Uh, no, nah, I remember. I I remember afterwards, like Twitter was going crazy. Yeah, man. I remember that. Yeah. Like, oh my gosh, she shut it down literally. She did. Yeah. But it's like, I don't know. It's Beyonce. Know. She could have just stood there, and you know. It's, yeah, honestly, she could have stood there. Like people would be going crazy. Yeah, she could have just twirled her fingers on stage. <laughs> but Beyonce walked by right now. You wouldn't ask for an autograph. Of course I, I would. Twenty twenty. Ask for pictures. pictures. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Ask for pictures. If I, no, I don't know if I can post that. Actually, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> a picture. I'm not. I'm not ready. You have to look. You have to look exquisite, bro. Yeah, yeah. You have to look clean. I don't yeah. think. I think Beyonce picks and chooses who she takes pictures. I with. feel like yeah, the picture will come out blue. I've never seen Beyonce take a picture with a crazy person. No, like, she's like, she, like the person looks kind of crazy. Yo, you know she's I mean? definitely. She's That's def- what I'm saying. I feel like if I look at the picture, it'll disappear. <laughs> As I'm looking at, like, shh. <laughs> what is this? It's a race like Thanos. Did you guys hear that but, story from Charlemagne? Hmm? My bad, I'm interrupting you. No, go ahead. That story from Charlemagne where he was like, he took a picture of Prince. Oh, yeah. What happened? Yo, the picture <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> like, what? How? <laughs> he doesn't know. He just disappeared out of his phone. And he's like, fam, Prince floated out of the room. <laughs> 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 like, what is this guy fucking talking about? But nah, I feel I like mean, there's like there's those mystical beings, like you know. I, I mean, like when you reach that level of stardom, like you gotta be calculated with this stuff, right? <laughs> like with the floating stuff. <laughs> no, I mean, like we take pictures with this stuff, oh, yeah. right? So like, 100%. yeah, you gotta be calculated with that. So you think they have some next kind of technology that's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> just zap your shit, bro? Yo, that's but nuts. I'm guarantee sure they control like everything that comes out. Like someone at, at like at Beyonce statue. Oh, she controls everything of that's out about it at a major level. So mm, I don't know, cause remember that time when her fake pregnancy came out or fake pregnancy when there's like oh that yeah that was a whole campaign. People used to film her with her stomach folding. Oh yeah, and it was who so did that? Stomach cannot fold when you're pregnant. That shit is hard as a fucking rock. Yeah. When you watch the actual video, it's just like it's just a clothing. It's just no, it's not. Her stomach actually folded. Yeah. It was a. Uh, it was a. Like, yeah. I seen the video. She was fake pregnant. She was fake pregnant. She didn't I don't kill know. those kids. Yeah, she people were saying kids. that, and it was she like, has a, like Kim Kardashian did. Surrogate. Surrogate. Yeah. Surrogate. But the nah, one, that, the did. the last one, I feel like she she definitely. Maybe had she did, but yeah, because because she, she changed. Pictures. And plus, she changed and too. And she actually looked different than the last. That's what I'm saying. Like now, she like she's actually like a mom. You know what I mean? Like her body transition. You can. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, yeah. Just like Sin, Sin Santana. You what do you mean the other one? She's like a mom yeah. now. 
Blue was she didn't carry blue? She did not carry blue. Get the fuck. That, that out was the of one here. that yeah, people yeah, were saying. Was but it looks weird. exactly it's like crazy. them. Yeah, you yeah, telling me a no, nigga like Jay Z didn't carry blue? I know, I know. Yeah, but when you carry your cigarette, it doesn't mean it's not gonna look like you. It's your, it's your egg. It's, and it's your, your yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah, you okay. front. You telling me Jay Z's first child didn't come out of no Beyonce's womb? No. So the time when that's why he cheated. Damn. <laughs> but yo, but but they, didn't they release like a video of like when Blue came out of the hospital and like Jay Z was carrying? Yeah, yeah, there was what a the whole there was a whole documentary about that. So you telling me it's a documentary that they they produced? You're I swear to God, it. yes. Sorry, you tell me. Did you not see the movie? Did you not see how they make pregnancies look? Look at this, the girl conspiracy theorist. No, but no, actually, it's no. a CGI baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like honestly, dude, you cannot. A stomach cannot fold when you're pregnant. She was not pregnant at the time. Bro, I seen the video. And she was supposed to be. Like a certain amount of month. Yeah. Definitely cannot. Your, your feet are supposed to be swollen. Yeah. I feel and like. People find ankles skinny. I mean, people get pregnant in different ways, you know? Uh, yeah. No, that's mm-hmm. literally a common thing. And everybody gets swollen feet. Nah, it's Beyonce, bro. Beyonce she didn't carry her first child. She did not carry her first child. I don't know what fuck that anybody says. A stomach, a pregnant stomach does not fold, especially at that, that, that stage. I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah. You guys think you guys can, can have sex with your wife when she's pregnant? I couldn't do it personally. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know. Bro, I seen that category on porn, bro. I was like. Oh, know. here we go. <laughs> <laughs> We're back to porn. Here we go. Bro. I'm not lying. <laughs> bro, you learn a lot of shit, bro. Take this That's facts. Honestly, I, <laughs> sex ed is porn. Oh, that's big facts. I'm you. not even playing. Like, bro, you learn about mad shit. I didn't know. I'm yeah. like. I, I thought it was like. I thought it was like illegal what I was seeing. I'm like. I mean, she's carrying a baby. How can she be fun? Yo, I, 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 how's that a fetish? It's, it's a fetish. I'm yeah. But I didn't understand mm-hmm. why though. Yeah, wow, that's nice. like, why are you doing this? There's a Maybe human in you. Why are you? Why are you Everyone saying swear words? I, mean, I don't want to find out. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah, for real. Like. <laughs> 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 Yo, uh, nah. I don't know. It's just that. I just said it's a weird visual. It is. Like, it is weird. You can only do doggy style. Missionary is weird. Uh, you can't break. <laughs> Yo, think about that shit, bro. <laughs> 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 you're bro to I don't know. It's like, I feel like you're like walking on eggshells type of thing. Bro. It's like, you can't, you gotta be super careful. You fall on the like, bubble. You know, it's like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is uh, it safe to say you can choke her? Yo. <laughs> fam. I would check a pregnant woman. But she likes that shit. What if, oh, what, you, okay, what if your girl like that shit, though? She's pregnant. It's different. She's pre- huh? It's different. Now. Ooh, I know, but. And there's the conundrum. Woman, bro. But. Okay. I'm going to kill you and my child. Like, <laughs> like, nah. That's a thing. That's too much. No, 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 no. Nah, I couldn't do it. No, nah, I feel really uncomfortable. I, I couldn't do it personally. Sorry. Oh, no. I'm Sorry. I'm going to go without sex for now. Bruh. Ooh. Why are you putting me. Why, yo, why you got to do that to me? <laughs> I just thought about that. Oh, what? I, why you? I, why, I don't have to think about that right now, and I don't. I don't want to think about that. Like I, I don't want to think about prison, bro. Like, I personally don't want to think uh, about that. Uh, <laughs> we'll deal with that when the time comes, you know. Right. Um, I mean, I guess yeah. <laughs> this nigga, you're gonna have to do it. Still. <laughs> yeah. you're gonna have to do it. You might have to, but like honestly. Oh man, I, I think I was gonna say that. I was just about to ask. Can a pregnant woman give you head? Fuck yeah, she'll get Yo, imagine, nigga. Imagine no. a random pregnant woman give you head. Nah. No, 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 no. That's actually, I can't, I can't get her. That's so heartbreaking. <laughs> oh, God. What do you get hard, bro? What do you get nasty, nigga? What do have no problem? Like, yeah, well. <laughs> Someone's got to suck it. <laughs> Yo, do you see yourself, like, talking shit to your woman while giving it to her? While she's pregnant, she's though. But the baby can <laughs> yeah, I'm clearly slapping, hear it. I'm slapping the stomach. Are you done? The baby can't hear it. Yo. What are you talking about? You're talking about. The baby can, can hear it. The bro. The baby can hear you. 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 The baby can hear it recognizes voices. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, bro. So, you tying that shit to your, your wife and... Damn, hey. my mom's a slut. Oh. <laughs> 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 Ooh, she freaky. Mm. <laughs> Ew, About your mom, nigga? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I don't know. When the time comes, um, I'll definitely... 
you know, consider what I have to do. Still. Yeah, honestly, I think I'm going to have to do it. Nine months is way too long. What about after? When her vagina, like, splits Oh, yeah, you have to wait, like, six, eight weeks. You have Yo, to I wait. Yeah, some, sometimes, because sometimes niggas have babies, like, really, with really small gaps in between. You know what I mean? It was like, she just had a kid, and it's like, in four months, she's pregnant again. Oh, yeah, because, like, um, depending if she has a C-section, your vagina's mm. not affected. But if infected. Just, no, affected. Oh, just infected. <laughs> Can no, no, it get infected? No, no, no. Like when I think about that, because you know sometimes it tears. Like it just sometimes becomes... it tears, but they stitch it up. So that even then, you, have to, you might have to wait a bit longer. I hope your baby's not. Or take it slow. Easy. Or take it slow. Don't take it slow. You can actually hurt her vagina. Imagine you undo the stitches. So wait, so so basically, it's, um, no, it's um, they can't feel it. It's, though, right? it's I think it's soluble. It's uh, it dissolves. Sorry. The so stitches. The stitches dissolve. Yeah. Okay. I got a question though. So like skin cutting that shit. The skin me. so the skin in between like the butthole and the vagina splits apart. The taint disappears. No, the, 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 the vagina tears. Nah, it's, it's, it's the bottom of the, the you, what are you saying it's is the right. Of the vagina, huh? It's the taint, right? No, 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 it's like the bottom area. Yeah, but yeah, it's it, it's not, that's down, t- yeah, yeah. Th- does it tear all the way down to the, the asshole? Yes. Oh, no, yeah, that's what I'm it, saying. It, Sometimes it happens. It, it one big ass hole, like relax, I'm for real. You never heard that? I'm so, yeah. That's what it, What do you think they're stitching? No, they're stitching that area, but like, it's not... It's one big not, hole, bro. It's not, it's not Booty <laughs> hole, vagina, one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm shitting out of your coochie now. Like, <laughs> yo, shitting out of your coochie, yeah. imagine. Oh, so that is... You know girls give birth, right? They shit. That's what might be behind my girl's shoulder. In the, in the room. Yeah, you can still see her. Are you sh- oh. You're shitting me, bro. I'm looking yo, you guys, you guys know that Canadian um, comedian? He's Indian. Uh, Peterson. Russell Peterson. Russell Peterson. I remember him talking about it. Like, him, he was talking about his lady, like, giving birth. And, like, how he was so mad. And he was mad at the fact that, like, his... Like, he looked at his girl's vagina like a restaurant. And mm-hmm. how it was burning down. Because every... The baby was just coming through. Like, <laughs> ripping everything <Yeah>. apart. <laughs> and it changed his whole mindset. Like, yo, I can't even eat here anymore. That's what I was... I was thinking <laughs> so, that, too. Mm-hmm. Like, that's you why... Know? I, I can't. Down. Just hold it down. Bro, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, I'll be if I'm behind the shoulder and I'm like, I'm holding. Like, yeah, you got this. You got this. It's fine. You know the baby does come out. Yeah. Still covered in your girl's lady stuff, right? We're gonna wash it off. <laughs> yeah. Spray that shit, bro. But apparently you're supposed to. You're supposed to hold it when yeah, it's like that. Yeah, they hold it when it comes out. But imagine puking as a dad. <laughs> <laughs> Holy. <laughs> <laughs> on the baby. I don't know. Yeah, I heard about that. So. Cause it's like, yo. You I don't know, think I think. So you think you'd cry? Huh? You think you would cry? My, yeah, born, yeah, I would cry. I, yeah. I'd tear up stuff. I'd hold I'd, it up like like this. And like shit. Simba, bro. I see myself doing that. You know, have you ever seen the doctor that dropped the baby? What the hell? What? Dropped the baby and then they picked it back up and then they had to check it for the baby. Yo, <laughs> fire this nigga. <laughs> Holy. What? Like they, they picked it up. He picked it up to give it to the nurse. Slippery. And, um, the nurse. Slippery. Oh, right. That is like one thing you absolutely cannot yeah, fuck up. That's gonna be a mess. I'm gonna be swinging in that in that room, bro. Facts. Do you think the baby goes into the shit because they're shitting at the same time? Ah, no, 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 they don't touch. <laughs> they, they, I don't. They, they can't, can't, can't touch. touch. But the babies come out so bloody and like full of. Oh my yeah. god, bro, that's so scary. Yeah, man. Uh, <sighs> bro, I think Thank about that god. all the time. So happy. Oh, oh, man, time like, periods. Oh, I don't have to worry about yo. birth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I respect all queens. I, I respect what? all queens. All he ladies. Said, if Quincy was a girl, he'd like to get fucked. Quincy was a girl. He'd like to get fucked. I'm going to go to that would let mad niggas hit, bro. Yo, gosh. Pause. 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 My nigga, yo. Pause. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Go to be a thought though. No. Go to be a thought. What? You be the I be biggest thought? thought, bro. Are you kidding Why? me? Why? You shitting me, bro? First of all, I you would, I would me keep it to I would keep it to marriage stuff. Low key. You be, you be one of those girls marriage. talking Lies. about the Bible. Right. And low key like <laughs> word. Go no. to be a thought no, I keep bro. it. I keep it to one man stuff, fam. If if yeah, if I was a girl, oh, I'm just saying. To one man? Yeah. If what do you mean? I'm, I'm a guy. I can't think about that shit. Nah, if, I was, yeah. if I was a girl, what I, I'd be tricking, bro. I'd be tricking. Are you shitting me, bro? You get money, all right? You give me these bags. <laughs> yeah. Unless you look mm. beat. That's tough. Oh, what do you think about beat? Oh, that's tough. Yeah. You can't even get like attention yeah. on Instagram and stuff like that. But it's like, no, no, no. Don't, but if it's like, don't, don't, don't stick that, eh? American guys, go look at American guys go for ugly girls, eh? It's actually, it doesn't make any sense. 
There's so many American guys that want ugly girls. Where the stats? And ugly girls get niggas. Are you shading your friends? No. Huh? Are you shading your friends? No. no. <laughs> so where are you getting this information from? <laughs> no, no. Honestly, you don't know that. Go, no. check, like, go check some American Instagrams. Like, you'll see the girls beat as fuck, but they're very good looking. It makes no sense whatsoever. And you've come to that conclusion how? What do you mean? Like, like you just, said, like, you yeah. just looked at a hundred accounts and been like, hey, <laughs> no, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> American. Because they're mostly Americans. Like, none of them are really Canadians. Oh, I don't know. I need to see some samples still. Word. Yeah. Do you ever see that one with the, actually, no, that's, that's fashion and stuff. <laughs> All Yo, right. Who's that, who's that big girl? Um, Lizzo. She, 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 yeah, Lizzo, yeah, she, she's twerking. <laughs> I love how this man knew right away. <laughs> Matt connected wow. big girl to Lizzo. Lizzo. <laughs> really? Yeah. No. Bro, no, it's just because of her looks. She's, like, she's, she's really just, pop. That's I, feel like, I feel like she's really comfortable in her skin. Oh, 100%. I really like that. Too much. She, no, 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 it's not no, too much. I like much. it. I feel I actually like like too much, though. What do you mean? Oh, because she's like, she's like ass cheeks at the game and stuff? It's a little too much, bro. I like that Oh, yeah, I like that too. That's just me. That's just me, though. It's like, Lizzo? Nah, she eating the streets, though. I don't know. She eating in the streets? She in the streets, oh, I say. Oh, that's what me. Yeah. But apparently she's trying to get skinny. Er. Is she? Yeah, she, she looks great. Yeah, I, I mean, you see, that's the thing. It's all about, it's all about being comfortable. But it's like, even with the comfort thing, people are saying like, um, even if you're like, what is it? People, um, I forgot who was saying this, but like, even if you're comfortable in your skin, it's like, you're going to see yourself more on TV and you're going to want to slim down. Because mm. if you don't like the way you, you look, like you know what I mean, as yeah. comfortable as you are, give it. Ah, oh, fuck, I could lose a few. I, I, there's nothing wrong with saying, that. With literally, with every fat person that's like ever been popping and like comfortable in their skin, they went smaller. Every because they're like at the end, they're like, yeah, this doesn't look that great. But it it's, does. But it's it's bad. It's, when you I make, should be spreading this narrative, like, because a lot of people are like, you know, they make, oh, I have a hard time being fat and nobody likes me and stuff like that. It's like that's not every fat person's truth. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like yeah. Some of us are cool. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm saying, it, you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Because that, that rhetoric is kind of toxic and bad for them because mm-hmm. they're just going to make them hate themselves more. So Yeah, yeah. I don't know. You guys hear about the lady that made a comment about Lizzo? The girl from Biggest Loser? Yeah. But she's right, though. What's like, the comment? She, What'd no, she say? Because... No, but like, why are you guys focused on her weight? But then the thing is, that is actually a thing. She can actually get sick with her weight. But yeah, so can a skinny person. So it's like, she didn't bring that conversation up to any other person. But she you're, more, you're more prone to get... That's not necessarily true. So you say she's healthy fat? No, but I'm saying just because you're fat doesn't mean you're going to have diabetes. It doesn't mean, but you have more chances of the skinny person. That's a myth, though. It's not a myth. It it's is. That is a myth. myth. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's, it's like it's, a myth. Cause no, because <clears> diabetes, okay, diabetes is genes, but it's also your lifestyle. Right. It's a pancreas. Exactly. Yeah. Lifestyle. So it's like... Someone who's skinny, just because sh- they have a better digestive system than the fatter person, doesn't mean you're healthier than this fat person. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying But that's, so what I'm, that's what we're trying to get at, because people are saying that's bad. Just because she's fatter, you're going to point at her faster. You probably have diabetes versus a skinny person. <laughs> you're skinny, you're probably going to be healthy. It shouldn't be like that. It should it's be like, like... That's so. true. It isn't like that. Both of you guys that. should be the same. Like, <clears throat> I feel like she, it came off wrong. Like, I feel like she just... No, had, but that's what the sentiment like, is... Focus on her mi- our no. Music. What, like, why I, you guys focus on her weight? The sentiment is rooted in that, of saying fat, unhealthy, skinny, healthy. You know what I mean? It's like, especially coming from an African background, that's like people are like, oh, yeah, fat ass. <laughs> 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 like, an African household is like, like, to go, you're out of shape, whatever, all that stuff. But it's like, it comes down to really like lifestyle, like you said. Yeah. And you yeah. can't always judge it just by people's looks because some people can work out so much and they just don't lose a pound. And other, other people that are skinny and eat all the things don't gain, a, don't gain a pound, but they have like high blood pressure. They have, you know what I mean? No, Cody's healthy. I'm all no, 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 vegan. No, no, like, you eat a lot. Oh, vegan. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, it's, yeah, it just it really just depends. Like, you have to really go under the hood of the car. You can't look at it and be like, yeah, it's yeah, a fast yeah. car. Nah, you can't do that. Good point. Yeah, yeah, shout out to vegans, though. Hey, how that man, mean? fuck vegans. I don't, I don't know how y'all do it, man. Yeah, yeah, Honestly, I couldn't. That's good. It's a mindset. How many years? Four. Oh. Damn. Jeez. You ever cheat on your diet? No. You ever cheat on your diet? Well, at, be- at the beginning, at the beginning, it was pretty hard. I'm not gonna lie, it was hard. You know, I've, I've, I've never went back eating chicken. I never went back eating fish. I never done that in four years. You, but what I've like, done is cake? I've ate. Like, I've ate stuff that, that had, like, milk. egg or milk a little bit incorporated in it. And the ingredients. Yeah, a little sauces meat. here, though. No. no red meat, no. No meat, eh? Yeah. <laughs> oh. No meat, bro. Yeah. yeah That's so. tough, bro. Yeah, that is really, that is tough, though. So, what do you, like, eat for a substitute? Like, soy and stuff? No, I'm not really a big fan of soy. Like, I'm... It's, That's it's, good. Because it probably has a bunch of estrogen. Yeah. Like milk? Pardon? Almond milk? Yeah, almond milk is cool. Like hemp milk is cool, yeah. too. What? Hemp, hemp milk, hemp, hemp milk. That's the it's marijuana milk. It now, bro. You don't know what it's hemp like marijuana milk is. is. Oh, it's the, yeah, it's the derivative. Derivative. Oh. Of, they're just like no, it's not psychoactive or anything like that. Oh wow! 
you know. You can't get high after getting high. Yeah. No, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, she's joking. So much stuff. Yeah, you can learn a lot. Well, we'll have a segment of that later on. <laughs> yeah, the vegan yeah. segment. <laughs> um, yeah, but how do you, like... Fuck. Like, starting off, like, how do you just fight that feeling of, like, I want a burger right now? I just think about wholesome foods. You know, I just like fruits and vegetables. And it's just been like that, you know. I had a tragic crazy. situation I mean, happen to me, and right? Okay, so it's yeah, and, uh, it's it's that related. Triggered it, that that triggered it, but at the same time, it was kind of like were wilding back in high school. <laughs> he was Mr. McDouble. When I mean, like I on Fridays, we'd be getting like oh, we'd be man. going off. We'd be like kings at McDonald's. We get like $10. seven burgers. You know, I mean, going crazy. Cody would always be there. Remember, we used to eat them and have it like oh yeah, we'll eat sheet over here, stack them up. Jeez, and like you ain't eating, you put the sheet of paper like look how many burgers I ate. <laughs> But we were wilding that day. I remember one day Ridwan was like beating his chest, and then I think mean, he ate ten, right? <laughs> I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> I have that memory so vivid in my mind. It's so funny to me, but like he was convinced he was having a heart attack. He almost cried. That's how funny it was. Jeez, Yo, so I funny. Times were like, I remember sometimes like when some of us didn't have any money at that day because like we'd randomly go to McDonald's during the week. I don't know why. Yeah, to ball but, out, bro. And then we'll like we'll ask for each other's like pieces off burgers and shit. It's like, yo, let me have a piece. No, nah, no, nah, no, no. We didn't. I feel like the people that were added onto the crew would do that, but like the niggas in the crew would never do that. Yeah, we, were we were always eating. We were always always. But I'm thinking think about you know we're not gonna say name, but there's niggas who were like, oh, let me get a piece of that. Let me get a piece of that all yo. the time. Well, let me get some fries. Yo, I hated those <laughs> niggas, man. And then we used to always get those small fucking kid size fries. <laughs> fucking come with like five, five strips and shit. Niggas be asking for three. Like, yo, come on, bro. Come on, man. Put their hands in the bag and shit. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Remember yeah. when the older guys used to come in and used to like, you try to give them up, like they would ask for a piece, right? And like they would insist on grabbing their own piece. Like, yo, yeah, with dirty ass hands too. Uh, dry skin and everything. Just like you see, oh, let me tear a piece. Mm, fuck, bro. hated that shit, bro. Man, but the girls would remember the girls would like share a chicken burger. Yeah, like, they could that shit in eight pieces. I was like, this is eight pieces for chicken <laughs> burger. This is better than this. Don't do it. And then the girls like you guys, you guys never like back in the days. Like I don't know, every girl at McDonald's whenever like. You guys will always ask for bites. You guys will never ask for pieces. Yeah. You can I have a bite? I'm like, what the fuck? Nigga, I don't even know where your mouth has been. Okay, I don't know about that. <laughs> I never let anyone have a bite of my burger. Bro? Never. Yeah, I've let a couple of girls get a bite of my burgers and shit. I've given, I've given ice cream to like McFlurries. Licks? Yeah. She's like, <laughs> Oh, come on, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, McDonald's was a wild, it was a wild time, you know? McDonald's where everyone would go to go like ball out <laughs> and also like, after smoking. Yeah, yeah, people would go yeah. there. They could be like, "Okay, this person just smoked for the first time. Look at him." Yo, bro, remember the first mm. time we 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 we, we um uh, the first time we um we went to Quiznos. Oh my god, yeah. niggas felt like we we're on top Kings. of the world. Bro, oh, we're we're better than you, niggas. We're better than niggas. <laughs> we're at Quiznos. <laughs> we got Quiznos now. We got coupons. Fuck McDonald's, yeah. nigga. You still eat McDonald's, nigga? You <laughs> broke, <laughs> nigga. Yo, <Yeah. laughs> that's to <laughs> God, fam. Yeah. Uh, Quiznos, yo, it changed our perspective though. still. That shit did not hit at all. I feel like fucking a sandwich from home, and, but it like, worse, God, bro. Quiz- <laughs> it's a bunch of deli meat, and I was like, this is not hitting. <laughs> nah, Quiznos <laughs> is not the move, bro. Definitely not, not the move. <laughs> Cool. I don't know that shit. I don't know how they still running business over there, man. I think yeah. it's shut down, bro. I haven't seen a quiz. Sub- Subway ain't shut them down yet. Yeah. Subway's definitely up there. Yeah, I can tell you eat Subway mm. a lot. <laughs> Is that shit? The way you smell, <laughs> Subway. <laughs> nah. Yeah, nah. There's salads. There's salads at Subway. Yeah. I would never trust that. Yeah. No, Yo, no, it's the same thing that they put inside. It's just lettuce and. Everyone says that when you go to Subway, don't get chicken. Everyone who works there, I don't know why. Oh, dead ass for real. Yo, I had that today though. I swear <laughs> to God, <laughs> Man, I need to find. I out had why. that today. I need, yes. to find out, I need to find out why, bro. I had that I for lunch, like bro. Thing, I like the it's weird, but I like the steak, the steak and cheese. Steak and cheese, yeah, but it's not real, you know. I know it's not. I it looks like, like fucking bullshit. It's just a block of stuff. I know. Oh, I just think that's the thing, like, like really yeah, good. like seeing all of these things is like I don't know how niggas is still on that shit. Yeah. I, I don't know why, like you know what I mean. If you know the truth. Nigga. What about the Beyond Meat shit though? Beyond Meat, so it's, that's a laboratory shit, bro. You know if that, bro. You eat that? You do eat that? I, I've eaten it a lot of times. Yeah, many times. It, uh, something. Keep an eye on that. Nigga, that's, that's what I'm saying. Keep an eye on it. I don't eat it, but my mom's got plant-based chili. 
early, bro. I feel like that shit is just as bad though. Like, yeah, it's, it's still like it's, definitely. I think you so. can say that. You can really say yeah, that. Yeah, like the, like it's, it's still processed shit, right? You can't cheat the system, bro. Yeah, you, can't. you can't, can't do it. Cheating the system. Ooh, yeah. Beyond Meat steak. How does that make sense? <laughs> like it's bleeding. Mm. I don't know. I'll pass. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Bro. Nigga, no, I'll have pass. you heard they're trying to clone um, meat? So there's this, uh, you know, the 3D printer? They can use it with uh, a cell, an uh, actual cell, and replicate it. So they're trying to make, they're trying to make meat. Why should they throw a human in that shit? Bro. It's wraps. Yeah. We're in the... <laughs> oh my God. And it's crazy because the they have like, they have these 3D printers that use actual real cell and they actually like... Replicate. I feel like why do why do I why do I, do I, do I feel like you 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 requested one already? Don't, don't be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly. But no, they're actually trying so you know. Be careful. No, fuck all that shit, bro. Anybody that wants to turn vegan, eat healthy, just stick to plant based stuff, wholesome foods. You know what I mean? Don't. Fuck all that's laboratory based, shit, like, man. Put an asterisk to it. it. That, that's like McDonald's. That's, it's still McDonald's food. It's still McDonald's. Like the the, the real way is literally like fruits and veggies. Do your real shit, like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. 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 Exactly. Do plant based though. So that's what he's saying, like, like organic. Plant-based? Yeah, yeah, plant based. Just eat. Like just don't eat like shit that food. makes sex. You know what I mean? Don't don't <laughs> don't eat that shit that makes sex. What? That has sex. Sorry, my bad, man. Don't don't eat that shit. Don't don't what? eat shit that that don't eat stuff that that shits. What do you mean stuff that makes, makes love? You know what I mean. All of that. Oh, Let animals living? live. Okay, insects okay. live. Just just. I mean, plants are alive plants too. Are alive. So just as oh, bad no, as we're not, we not gonna get. We're not we're not gonna get to that. We're not, we're not, that's not that's a whole <laughs> different ball game. Now. Yeah. I don't know. Like I feel yeah. Like I don't think I could stick to it though. Honestly, like I, I like oxtail and shit. Like I can't do it. You Jamaican, obviously you can't do it. Man. I can't do it. Like I could do it for an amount of time, but I couldn't stick to it. I just I know myself. I wouldn't be able to. I'm so right now, your your body will itch the first four days. Where are they? No, I told my parents. That's why I told my parents. I told my parents if you, the day you guys reach a hundred, I'll eat me. Mm. So my, my dad was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see you eat me. So that's him telling me he wants to live to a hundred. So yeah. I said okay. That's pretty sick. That's cool. That's you cool. See what I won. Like, if you don't eat meat for a long time, a long time, the time you do eat meat, you're gonna get sick because your body's not used. Yeah, to it. Yeah, you have to because you you're not used to digesting it. it into your body. Yeah, I'm not. Just like right now too, it's been That's years. Like your your it's system is not used to digesting. I can't meat. do it. I can't you're gonna go get back. very ill. You're gonna get sick. No, I can't go back. If I go back, I'm done. <laughs> Like you might get hospital. Yeah, no, yeah you're gonna, you might, you might. Get no, like, cause the system, my system won't be able to break it down. That's yeah. the issue. You'll definitely no, get. Saying, you're gonna get sick. You'll definitely like, get you sick. Die, or you don't, you you're gonna die. vomit you immediately. You don't need to go to the hospital. You're just gonna vomit it. Cause or, your body's not used to it. Or something. Yeah. It's like yeah. when you're fasting. You have Look, to slowly like. This is the thing. We can, we can, we can all assume things that can happen to the body, but we don't know what's actually gonna happen. I'm not gonna take that chance. What do you mean? It's not technically. So like if a hey look, if a lady can die off drinking water, my nigga, you anything can happen. Water. You can die from drinking water. You can, you you can can there's water poisoning. It's a thing. Oh yeah, yeah. it's not clean. But like no, 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 no. Regular no. water. If you drink oh. too much water, if you, you drink too much water, you she can didn't die. Watch that girl you know? Wait, is it on Doctor Phil? The one that they abused, where they put too much, they gave her way too much water as punishment. She was like on vacation, just drinking water like crazy. Oh, I thought you were talking about a kid where for punishment they would give her like eight cups of water. Jeez, but then she died because like she do too much water. Yeah, no, water poisoning is definitely a thing. Just access to everything, you know what I mean? Just everything in moderation. Everything, everything in moderation, moderation yeah. Including you know. moderation, though. I know, I know, and, uh, you know, right. take time, you know? Sex is not every day, you know? So. <laughs> Talk about what I'm going to say. <laughs> I don't even know how to. I'm just mean. saying, though, because, you know, you have to. Everything in moderation. Speaking of moderation, this is not a segue. I don't know what that's. <laughs> but this, okay, so I saw this on Insta and it really cheesed me. Like. So this girl, Billie Eilish, which you guys probably know who it is, uh-huh. she was interviewed by someone. A person didn't even fucking ask about hip hop, but she somehow started talking about, uh, yeah, like right now in hip hop, it's let me read exactly what she said. Uh, it's like I got my AK forty seven and I'm fucking, and I'm like, what? You don't have a gun, and all my bitches dot dot dot. I'm like, which bitches? So she's basically just saying. It's a random white girl, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> she's huge. She's pop, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah so she's saying, like, yeah, all hip hop is, like, all lies and they're not telling the truth. They're just, like, capping, essentially. Some them do, though. But, bro, you don't even write your own songs. So, what are you talking about? Your brother writes your shit. And the shit you're talking about, do you live what's in your rhymes? Like, no. So, what the fuck are you talking about? Fam, you, 
you you hate her? No, but it's just like, yeah, what no, are you I doing? Feel, like, why would you and leave the that? fact that the interview didn't even ask you this. Time you're going off, fam. No, but think about that, though. I'm not going to lie. I've never heard a Billie Eilish song. I used to fuck with her. I've never heard a song from her. That's probably, yeah, I guess that's where the hate's coming from. I'm sitting here like, damn, you knew her? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Billie Eilish is hard. Like, Ocean Eyes is hard. Like, Ocean Eyes is hard. When that shit first came out, and then she blew the fuck up. Like, yeah. Damn, okay. Man. Yeah. But she's talented. She has a really, really good voice. And yeah, but like I'm just like the interview didn't ask you about this. You just came, like ah, left field. Won't work. Yeah, probably not your place to go there. Yeah, yeah for real. I won't but, front. I won't front. Like I, I actually won't front though. Like a lot of guys that are rapping today, okay, are not living what they like. Really of course, need. nobody does that in music. Period. But people always There's hold hip hop to this high standard. I guess because the original, like a rich hip hop original started like this is the real shit. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, rap my, I rap my story, I rap my struggles, whatever, but... So it's frowned upon to lie, but, you know, every genre does it. Every genre does yeah, do every it. Genre. Every genre mm-hmm. has, like, mad writers, too, but it's like, with hip-hop, it's like, no, it has to be pure, it has to be, you know what I mean? But it's like... But, like, why? We, have to, we have to separate the genres. Huh? We have to what? separate... No. R&B? R&B has right to have writers, too. Like. But R&B is love, though, fam. Like it's real love, fam. Uh, to who, uh, though? To who, though? If, really if somebody else is writing me a song, it's not... How is it real or is it fake? No, no, but I'm, I'm pretty sure like they kind of like discuss between each other. No, sometimes people just give songs and oh. be like, "You'd perform it better." So here, yeah, it's yeah. True. yeah, but, like, but the dream is behind a lot of hits. But he's like, he just won't sing it for himself. He'll yeah. just write it for people. Yeah, yeah, because I don't think it's pop. He did too much. But there's there's a difference. Though. I just want to say. I mean, the future wrote a Beyonce song, didn't he? He did. Yeah, he did. Really? I think one. Once he did one song. Was I forgot the, the name. Was it a Riri song or a Beyonce? I feel like I don't. Yeah, party next door. He's right here. Right, mm. he's fire. Party writes a lot for people. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. He's okay. Fire. He's okay. He he's okay. Go, he needs to go through more artist development stuff. He oh, speaking of up- upcoming albums, huh? <laughs> we, didn't <even> put a, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't put a button on the last conversation, but party next door is coming out with his new album. Yeah, yeah. It's called Party Mobile. I'm looking forward to that for real, for real. I'm excited, man. I'm yeah. excited. We'll see. He's been hiding in a, his, his his little world. Yeah. Yeah. He got real big for a second. I see you know he's going through it. Like, yeah. He, he was on a coke binge, remember? Where he got super maga. And then now he's like... Coke? Yeah. And he's speaking like this. Yeah. Hey, but like, he's like, uh, yeah, like... I mean, <laughs> like... You know, you the, interview, the Beats 1 interview was, that was the worst nuts. interview ever. That was ever. fucking ever. nuts. Like, I don't know mm. who said to, to like... Who, who pressed the green who, the green I button don't on know, that? I don't know who greenlit that interview, but he Yo, was not ready. No, he looked v- really, really frail, and like he just I don't he know. Look right, fam. Yeah. Like oh, sorry. We don't really. Yeah. We don't know her. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah. What did I just say? I'm excited for Meek Mill's <laughs> album this year. <laughs> you know, I'm excited for Drake's album this year. When, when's Meek coming? Meek is Meek has a actually Meek literally has a uh, single coming out with Justin Timberlake at twelve, Today? and it's actually gonna be fire. It's called Believe. <laughs> it's gonna be fire. Did you put, were you in the studio? No, I, like I, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is the one, Meek. Nah, I'm just, I'm just You're out of here you know with this one. <laughs> Meek's my guy. You know what I mean? Of course, of course. Yeah. Ah uh, yes, we're forty five minutes in. Do you want to get into that? Fuck yeah, nigga. <laughs> all right, that's all right, that. Right. That's that. Yo. <laughs> Oh, let me just add. Let me just add one more thing. And uh, should we? The weekend's also coming out. Yeah, he's dropping an album as well. Right, too. Right. We don't know when though. We don't know when. Is this year? Is this year? Yeah, but it's like the same time as like thing though. It's party. And I like honestly, the party and weekend beef is real. Yeah, it's your boy Kotiande K O T I I A N D E. You can catch me on everything. You know what I mean? Google. Google page, catch me on Google, Google. Business. Mm. You can catch me on Twitter. I don't have Twitter still. Soon. Did you get Twitter still? I don't know why. I actually have to send you yeah, bad memes. Twitter's cool. Twitter's fire. I heard a lot of things come through Twitter before Instagram. Is that true? I've heard that. Yeah. yeah you guys what? catch it early. You guys what? catch it before, right? The memes on Twitter. Yes. Yeah. yeah like way weeks. before. Way before. Weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Like no. no, no. Trust me. Weeks. Sometimes even months. Yeah. Which this has been a joke on Twitter for years. What the and fuck? And it's, it's just now coming to the Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. Get out of here. I'm dead ass. And like, the thing about Twitter is that like, you have trending topics and it's like, you have things that are just going to stay on Twitter forever. And it's like, bro, this is a thing on Twitter for like 24 minutes. No, like 24 hours. And it's hilarious. And then it's like, sometimes it won't make it to Insta because they're just like, they're too late on it or whatever. But right. living it on Twitter is hilarious. I should try that.